It is now six months later. This season is now winter and I'm going skiing. Not only skiing, I'm skiing with a sprained ankle. So if you've been following my adventures, you know I love being outside and doing fun things. So when it comes down to the decision of skiing with my bad ankle and not, when it could be my only chance this season, I'm willing to test my limits and full send. Now, if you've just joined me, hey, I'm Melina, I'm 22, I love traveling and going on little adventures, and I've made some pretty cool playlists for you to go watch if you want to see more. And on your way out, don't forget to click that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it so much, it goes a long way, and now, let's go skiing with the sprained ankle. Yeah, we're doing it. Welcome to a day in my life skiing with a sprained ankle. Yeah, so I sprained my ankle on Christmas Day with my cousins last week, and it's been healing for a week, almost two weeks. Hello everyone, I just thought I would update you and tell you how I sprained my ankle since I don't tell you in the video. So I went to the park with my cousins and we were playing games, having fun, and I decided to climb up one of those army like obstacle course rope ladder climbing things and I was not high enough up to where if I fell through I wouldn't touch the ground and so my left leg fell through one of the holes and it inverted and I was wearing platform vans and that was not a good idea for that specific moment and I sprained my ankle. Yeah, and my cousin thought I was joking. She's like, are you kidding? I was like, no. I was so down on myself because we were just about to go skiing even though the snow has not been looking too good this season. Um, I really wanted to go skiing and this kind of just messed that all up. So that is how I sprained my ankle. I don't think we should go to the park anymore for whatever reason around Christmas time we just have bad luck with going to the park. My cousin lost something the first time we went. I hurt myself. I think my next cousin is up for something. I guess. I don't think my uncle will let us go though anymore. He'll probably be like, no you're not going to the park. <laughs> anyway, so that is how I hurt my ankle. Let's get back to the video. And most of the swelling's gone down. There's a lot of bruise on my ankle, but I'm gonna try and tough it out because Kirkwood got a foot more of snow like Tuesday night, I think. So yeah, we're gonna go skiing, see how it is, see how the snow is and see how my ankle does. But I'm gonna try and tough it out because there's always ice or corn and peas and a jacuzzi back at the trailer. So. Oh, you mean the top? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Shit. So it's just this other, just a cruiser day. Fresh packed powder. Groomers are still out. Yeah. Just go turn and buy five, six rounds and go home. What do you think? I You're gonna ski more? I don't know, maybe. We'll see. We'll see, won't we? Father, tell us your idea. What? About what you want to do after some ski? Not today, maybe tomorrow. We're gonna to come back and have lunch right mm -hmm. here in the parking lot. And we're gonna build a fire in our solar stove. Yep. It's in here. We got firewood right there. Right I somewhere. Got an axe. Done. I'll have to yeah. cut some firewood up tonight to get it so we got some good kindling. Yeah. And then we'll build a lunch fire out here. And then when we come back, it'll be all burnt down if nobody steals it. Yeah. That's a dang good idea. That's a good neck idea. I think we could sell tickets to our fireplace.
This first run, my left boot was definitely not tight enough. So where I already feel like I don't have enough control, a squirrely loose boot is making it way harder and I have barely any control. So super sketch going down. This should be easy run. I tightened up my boots. I hope my GoPro can hear me. Oh my God, it's on. As long as my ankles doesn't hurt, it's on. Oh, it's on. It's gonna be on. And if you run, it's gonna be on. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Literally, so different from the first. Skiing has really become my favorite winter thing to do. I just can't wait for it to start snowing again and see how much piles up before I get to go skiing. I live for it. I just couldn't pass it up this time. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> Beautiful day. It is. Oh my gosh, blue bird day. Yeah. Finally got some snow up here too. Yeah. A more. Got, finally got cold. <sighs> yeah. Snow, snow is nice. Mm -hmm. Probably can't see me, but we're on the back side. Look at all this fresh pile right here. And I'm feeling good. So when I get off the lift, my ankle goes. Oh. We don't like that, but but when I'm, I hope you can hear me. But when I'm on, the skis are skiing. We're doing fine. It's all green. Stop. Oh, it's on. Woo! This is a cool chair. Yeah. In these trees. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I got like over there to the left. There was only like maybe six, seven tracks in there, so that was really fun. Mm-hmm. That's the I mean, first fresh tracks I've had since probably high school. Really? College maybe, yeah. Wow. Yeah, kind of brutal. Mm-hmm. What? What? Am I on the recording now? <laughs> I don't know. Probably am. Oh boy. So, can you see the cups? Yes. How many's there? Two. Two of them. You can't even see through it. It's so dark. That hey, Craig. That stuff's strong. Uh, you gotta listen to this guy next to me. He He's is a live wire. We've taken a lunch break and he is a live wire. So we just had some meatloaf sandwiches with Pringles, some vegan meatloaf sandwiches. It's really good, it tastes like stuffing. Yeah, and then my foot's doing pretty good, actually. I tightened up my boots really, really good, so I'm doing not bad, not as good as last year. My foot is like still a little bit hurt, so I guess I can't complain. But I'm freezing right now because I put too many layers on it, and I guess I got sweaty, and now I'm freezing. But we're about to go back on the hill. <gasps> okay, I have to pee too. Today is first day, sprained ankle. Today's rating is a seven. 
or an eight? Seven or an eight? Really? Fine, a nine. Ten. Ten, because she got her new boots, her new custom boots by Will Lockenauer. Hey, hey, hey. Give it an eight and a half. Why an eight and a half? Um, I hit a few rocks. They don't have too much terrain open. Yeah, it's pretty nice. But could have been just like last year, New Year's Eve was a 10. When it's snowing as hard as all get out, and it just, it was a 10. Today's nice. It's cold, crisp, the snow's good, but just need more of it and a little more terrain. Then I'd give it a 10. 14 runs for me. With a sprained ankle, can you believe it? I did it. Woo! Hey, it's Melina, like six or seven days in the future. I'm just coming here to end my skiing with a sprained ankle video. And I really hope you liked my video. I had fun making it. And make sure you like and subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next ski adventure. Bye. Now it's time for the best part of the ski day. The second best part. Taking your boots off. Oh. Now it's time for the bad foot. Let's see how this goes. That went surprisingly well. Didn't hurt one bit taking my boot off. Skiing with the sprained ankle. I'll see you in a few. I paid $25 for those two beers earlier. <laughs> because why? Nine bucks a piece, which is 18, and I left the guy 20, and a five is a tip. Do the math. He did pretty good off me, but they were good beers. Well, why'd you do Thank it? Thank you. Thank you. Why did I do it? Yeah. For the buzz and nothing more. <laughs> okay. Not because you're a nice guy. Huh? You're not a nice guy? Well, I did the tip for a nice guy, absolutely. It's about to blizzard soon, probably just before lunchtime, around noon, and it's the best time to ski because it's a Wednesday and it's gonna be blizzarding and windy and cold, so no one wants to come up here but the diehards. 